guys, today is a follow-up video. I wanted to show you the finished product from MagMod. In our other video, we showed the pre-production models if you want to check it out here. We just got these in the other day and I was very impressed with the attention to detail with their packaging. The boxes are inside this yellow pouch and I just love the, the apple-like cleanliness and sturdiness of the packaging. It also has a QR scan code on the back with a web address for more product info, photos, videos, and instructions. So scan that baby. Let's open these guys up. This is the mag grip that installs on your flash. It has two very strong magnets on either side. Just for kicks, just to show you how strong these magnets are, we took it for a test drive, literally. Check this video out. Do not try that at home. We were playing around with our GoPro camera and we were going about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So much fun and we'll definitely review that GoPro. I know what you're thinking. It's so small. How is it going to fit on my flash? So first things first, the mag grip is made up of a stretchy silicone rubber and it just pulls onto your flash. If I can do it, then anyone can do it. First thing you want to make sure is take the flat side of the mag grip and make sure it's facing away from you and stretch it over the flash like so. You kind of have to wiggle it down until the flat side um, evenly matches the flash. So once it's installed, you know it's not going anywhere. Next we have the mag gels. You got seven different color gels and we found that you can fit four gels comfortably in each mag mod. So if you want to mix and match your gels, you can. Um, and it's really easily, really, real easy to put on. You just want to make sure that the magnets are out and it just pops on just like that. Let's talk about the grid. Before these came out, we used to use the Optica grid with a hair tie. Not sturdy at all and they kept falling off. This mag grid will make life so much easier. It has a 39 degree beam pattern so you can focus the light and avoid light spillage. If you, if you buy more than one and stack them, the beam pattern becomes narrower. So you can stack all of these together. So my mag gel, the grid right on top. Make sure the silver magnets are facing away from you. That way it actually goes on. Um, I even saw someone post on Instagram video and they stacked nine of these on the flash. You also may get one of these thingies. No, it's not a hair tie or a wristband. It's actually a genius silicone band that holds your transmitter like so. Before we used to use the Velcro um, to attach the transmitter to the body. With this mag thingy, you just slide it on the flash and stick your transmitter in there. So much more convenient. There you have it. If you guys need a quick changing modifier for your speed light, this is definitely the one to get. I'll have a link to our blog post in the comments below where we'll have some close-up photos for you to check out. Don't forget to, to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! This is one cool trick that I found. You know you're doing it wrong when this happens. What? Oh! <laughs> Hold on, watch. No hands. <laughs> So you just want to make sure, <laughs> sorry, I already did it wrong, <laughs> next to you, whose cell phone is that? <laughs>